I didn't think she was there that night. Because I had looked back, I seen like her bright lights like blink on. So I didn't think she was dead then. I just remember dropping to my knees and just wailing. Just, God, just please don't let my baby die. But when I got there, they met me and told me that Sharika was already in surgery to have the baby by cesarean section. I immediately decided, oh my God, I gotta call Ray because I bet he doesn't know what's happened. You know, somehow she got shot going home or whatever. And I'm like, I gotta call him. So I had two numbers. I had a cell phone number uh, and a beeper number for him. And so I just continually just kept calling both, both, no answer. During that time before he came, I remember, you know, they came out and told me that they had to revive Chancellor and uh, that he had severe damage to his brain because of the lack of oxygen and blood. And so, you know, you're hearing all this from the doctors and, and still no Ray. And finally, he comes in with an entourage. Ray comes in with the guy that did go to the movies with him. It was his friend Hannibal. And he actually came with another woman. I went over like a mad woman. I let him know that I know you, you knew what happened to her. You know what happened to her. And you did it. You did it. He finally said he wanted to go see his son. So we got down to the NICU and they let us in. And Chancellor is hooked up to all these tubes and in the incubator and everything. The nurse was telling us, you know, we couldn't take him out, but we could stick our finger in to touch him or whatever. So I do remember asking him if he wanted to touch him. And he said, no, he just wanted to get a picture of him. And he said, because this might be the last time I get to see him. I had so much peace about making the decision to take Sharika off of life support because she was existing. She was not living. When she died, she looked like she did when she was born. And it was such a surreal moment for me.